Fleet TV Plus. Rodis River challenges tribunal verdict on Southern Luz victory. Pastor Deboy is slammed for praying over Israeli Palestinian conflict. Suspected thief forced to sing after arrest by vigilantes. Suspects give account on how they killed club owner. Now the news. The governorship candidate of the Labour Party in Lagos State, Badibo Rodas Rival, known as GRV, has filed his notice of appeal. Before the Court of Appeal, Lagos challenging the decision of the state governorship tribunal, which upheld the return of Governor Bajide Sonwolu. The notice of appeal, which was settled by one of his lawyers, Olagbade Benson, on behalf of 12 others, was filed on Saturday, October 7th and has 21 grounds of appeal. The 24-page document has been served on the Council to the Respondent, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The Governor and his Deputy, Obafemi Amzad, as well as the All Progressives Congress, APC. On to the next. The General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG Pastor Enoch Adeboye, has been slammed by some Nigerians over his prayers for Israel amid the ongoing war between Israel and the Hamas terrorist group in Palestine. In a video clip posted on his verified ex handle on Wednesday, Pastor Adeboye, while reacting to the war, said his prayers are with the people of Israel. Many Nigerians have slammed him for speaking about the issues in Israel when he has never done a video recording speaking about the various crises in Nigeria. The Israel-Palestine conflict has claimed hundreds of innocent civilian lives and with thousands of casualties since the news broke out last week. Oh, my beloved brothers in Israel, I want you to know that we are praying for you, that all members of the Redeemed Christian Church of God all over the world are standing by you at this very critical moment. The Almighty God, the Holy One of Israel, will give you absolute victory and give you permanent peace from now on in the mighty name of Jesus. It's going to be well with you. Uh, we pray that this one will be the war that will be the end of all wars in Israel. That from now on, it will be peace and it will be progress and nobody will ever again disturb the peace of Israel. In other news, a video has shown the moment a suspected thief was forced to sing after he was arrested by men of the Edo State Security Vigilante Network. Yeah, sit down, sit down. Hey! Oh yeah, the sick lad, the sick lad. Winner, 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 winner. Just against your, I just the security you go win, no. Winner, Virginia, you win. I'm a criminal, I'm a criminal. I am a criminal, I am a criminal, I am a criminal. If you know good, oh, I, I, I make you know. Finally, on the news, two female students of Kwara State Polytechnic, Adama Joseph and Favor of Andura, have been arrested by the Nigeria Police Force, NPF, for allegedly killing a Kwara socialite, Adeni Ojo, during a sexual romp. Recall that the managing director of a guest hotel in Norway, the state's capital, was found dead under suspicious circumstances on Friday, September 29, 2023. He said that the police remained unflinching in his determination to secure the people. Speaking to newsmen, one of the suspects, Adama Joseph, corroborated the account of the police about what transpired between them and the deceased. Adama said she had been in a sexual relationship with the deceased and he wanted to have a threesome with her and her friend, Favor of Andura, so they met him with the intent to steal from him. She said they drugged the deceased and left with his phone and other valuables only to discover that he had died later. Impatient because it was raining before, and as the rain stopped, everywhere became quiet and like we were running out of time. So that was when she took the phone and she was placing it in front of his face. I was even surprised because before. She even picked up the phone with everything that was going on. It was not suspicious. It did not, like, it was just, like, willingly doing everything. So I was also, like, surprised that how come he did not even, like, think about anything. Like, he allowed us to tie his hand and his leg so easily, like that. So when my friend put the phone in his face, he also wanted to video him. So he was not like, we should not video him, we should not video him. That was when he now pushed me off 
the bed because I was already sitting like on his leg before. That was when he now pushed me off the bed. So my friend got on him and she put the phone in his face and tried to like unlock the phone with his face. Like since he didn't have, because the man, the man is like, he did not have like cash or anything with him that day in his pocket or anything. And we didn't go to his car. So there was nothing else that we could do except if we were able to like get money from his account. So when my friend put the phone in front of his face, that was when he now freaked out and he now started like shouting and everything. I don't know how he managed to lose the rope that was used to tie his hand and he started hitting my friend. So as he started hitting my friend and he started shouting, she took the pillow and placed it over his face to muffle his screams from shouting. So like during everything, suddenly it just went calm and like as the went come, I got down from bed and I asked my friend that, like, I think this man is pretending because, like, he wants us to, like, let our guard down and he will try to stand up and try to hold us again. So I kept telling my friend that I think he's pretending to be asleep, that he's pretending to be asleep. So my friend went to the door and she turned the key of the door, pretending like as if we were leaving. And she said he opened one of his eyes. So when she said that, we now went to him and we're now begging him that, okay, please, can you wake up? We are not doing anything to you. Just wake up. We want to go. Because we felt he was pretending, but he didn't answer. So that was when Anna went outside to the reception. Because before we entered inside with him, he gave us a call to drink, even though him, he didn't take any. We asked him why he did not take any. He said he does not need a call to get in the mood that we should just drink the alcohol because he was going to deal with us tonight like sexual talk and everything he even touched my friend's breast while we were in the garden there outside in the open space there we did not discover he was dead until when the police apprehended us um, me I went home to um, Mowe so it was while I was in Mowe that the police came to apprehend us I even thought that it was because we left with the the man's phone, that that was why they came to apprehend us. And we gave them the phone and the SIM card, only to find out later that that time that we thought he was pretending, he was already dead. Um, we went with the rope, Refno, and one small kitchen knife that was blown. Because when he started eating my friend, the kitchen knife that was in my hand, he tried to bend the knife, but the knife didn't cut his hand because the knife was blunt. The, we held the knife just to make him scared. Like, the, the knife was not even sharp at all. It's like all these bed, the knife they used to cut cake. So instead, instead of that, when he was eating my friend, the pointy, that pointy part of the knife, I was using it to, I was using it to like pierce him a little and begging him that he should stop eating my friend. That. Thanks for joining our news brokers. For more updates, kindly subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Opaemi Odubemi reporting.